Another episode of the Road to the Draft series. Hayden, we're at a new ground yeah. with a new talent. Yes, we are. But importantly, obviously, Road to the Draft, very important. We we could do the whole plug, the YouTube, whatever. Yeah. The most important thing right now, Seb, the fashion statement. It's 30 yeah. degrees, it's 11 a.m., it's a warm day, sun's out, no clouds, barely any breeze. You've got a beanie on. Yeah, I thought I'd just, as you said, Hayden, it's just a fashion statement. Yeah. I just think the beanies are back. I think they went out for a bit then. Okay. Just looking to bring them back. You've got a is. very woolly beanie. There was no, no other reasons for that? No other reasons. No, I was the only one in the wardrobe, and I thought beanie today. Okay, well, it's an interesting decision, but what isn't an interesting decision is to come down and get West Perth's premium talent for this year. Seba, what are we dealing with today? We're dealing with a very talented man. Yep. His name's Lockie Payton. Lucky, get in here. Oh, oh there he is. Lockie, hey, how are you, mate? Right, Thanks for coming on, mate. A big day. Now, obviously, we saw the supreme talent that was me last week taking our pick. Have you been practicing your goal kicking? Oh, I've seen you guys. You guys have got some premium talent. Yeah. So, it's going to be pretty challenging, yep. but I'm up for a challenge. So, then, that's how it goes. Hayden, yet to score a win this season? Um, is it coming? Look, I, I think when you start focusing on things is wins or losses mm. um, everything's a loss in life so okay. at the end of the day I'm all about the journey not the destination and if I happen to pick up a W on the way well then isn't that just fine and dandy absolutely well how about we get into it how about yeah, let's do it. all right as always Seba it's about keeping the skills sharp absolutely. you know it's first game tomorrow so we need to make sure those skills are nice and sharp Lockie what have you got in store for us uh, so basically keep it simple we're gonna have one bloke standing at the corner of the square and then one standing at the other and we're gonna have the kick the other kicker of this 50, and then the bloke on our top square is going to run in the 50, get the ball off this bloke in the 50, and he's going to kick a goal. So, so okay, it sounds too simple. complex to be simple. When did Pitbull rock up? Out here at um, Juni, HBF Arena. I actually played a half a scratch match, played the first half as a boundary rider because wasn't showing up training much, but gassed me, never went back again. Teeth, please send me back, man, Lordy. Oh, fuck, Seb's really going, going in with these pop culture references. Last year it was Reggie from Surf's Up, the raccoon. This year is going for a Pitbull, famous uh, singer, rapper, artist, magician, Mr. 365, Mr. International, Mr. Worldwide. Can't believe we've got him here on Road to the Draft. Might have to have a chat to the boys' barbers because I don't know about them trims, but we got pit ball and like some hair coloration going over there. So, but you know what? The free skills make up for it, so it's alright. Hey, mate. The time has come now, Hayden. Yep. Lucky, it's pick time. I've come off a massive W, probably the best W you'll ever see on the pick track, probably the biggest win ever. Um, like, you know, there's stuff like you, talk, you compare it with some of the greatest wins ever, and that's right up there, so yeah. Great win, obviously. Um, How'd you feel about the win? Sorry, yeah, I, did, I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> but yeah, got the win last week, so yeah. looking to build on that win and go on another win today. Uh, Aiden, no win. Yeah. No win. Um, yeah, that's life, you know. Sometimes sometimes you go out there and these things happen, sometimes they don't, and that's just the yeah. will of the universe. Yeah. Who am I to declare what is and isn't right? Um, and I think the universe will look out for me as I am a, I'm a child of the universe, and yeah. I think eventually I will reap my rewards as right. a result of that. Lockie, how are you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. Um, a bit nervous. Uh, yeah. Should be. Same, really same sign of talent in you guys. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just going to give it a crack and 
Hope you come over the win. But All right. That's all you can do, hope. Zach. All right, thanks, let's, let's go. <laughs> the Dribble King was on holidays for a few weeks there. He came back last week and, you know, just threw that jack bloke around. No biggie. Um, he's still on working week, so we'll see how we go here as to dribble from the pocket. Oh, he's on back on holiday. No words. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> no words, just steely resolve. It's we're at a bit of a disadvantage when you think that they've got hours worth of footage of us doing specifically this to study. Good vibes only, you know. All right, so this one, shout out to Shane and Neil, but more importantly, shout out to the crowd from the Shane and Neil episode. Saw you lads at Sweaty Meddies last night. How about me? Great throwback. This one's for you boys and for Shannon. Neither of us. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> it's, it's still only PH. This is incredible footy, baby. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I make that? <laughs> Two dollar spud shed socks up, drip, finessing. Shout out to Seb for sitting here the whole time while we're just. How do you even get stuck? Like you're a massive boat. Like, how do you get stuck walking out the world? <laughs> oh. oh, that's that's just. <laughs> chance here, it either goes in or it doesn't. Straight over the back of the head. The series is done. We're calling it a day. Well, that does us. It was a uh, long, long game of pig. Yeah. Um, Lockie, congratulations. Oh, he really took it to you. Really had you under the pump there. Seba, there was a lot of talk early coming from your mouth. Yes, a lot of talk. Uh, yep. Usually happens coming from the mouth. Um, Bean probably didn't quite work today. Yeah. Um, 
So it's time to have a look at some other fashion statements I could possibly make. Maybe it's do you a, think maybe fixing a the hairline will work? Just possibly. Just maybe. It is a widow's we, just, we do have a bit of a widow's peak going on. Yeah. There. Just maybe it's straightening bit, that maybe up. Straighten it up and get like a bit of yeah. going on. But um, I don't think you're in any situation to talk about hairdos at the moment. I think I absolutely no, am. I don't think so. Um, I'm at the peak of my <laughs> hair fashion and it's only going to get better from here somehow. But off of that topic, yep. um, to this topic. congratulations. Yep. Who cares about that? Yeah. It's, that's done. We're, we're trying to get to know you. So we, we saw a bit of it out there, obviously, how you like to go about your footy. But can you tell us in your own words, your position, what you do out there, your role, and how you do it better than everyone else? Yeah, I play, try to play my role for the team. I play a um, bit of inside mid and a little bit of forward. I was uh, lucky enough to play um, inside mid all of last year. Um, and starting the preseason this year in the midfield, so that's pretty. Um, that's pretty much been my role um, in the team. But um, we have a strong midfield this year, so it's looking good. Now, uh, your footy journey. We like to know everyone's footy journey. What does that entail for you? Um, so I try to stay 12s. Um, I hyper extended my knee in the last trial with the where they picked the squad. Um, I played 15s, 16s, and played the All Stars last year, the 18s. Uh, so it's been a pretty good state journey. Um, a lot of experience from there, um, obviously Colts, and but uh, it's, I've been a lot, through a lot of football and it's probably been a massive part of my life, so yeah. I'm really thankful for my parents, obviously, um, but obviously growing up a little bit now, I can take myself to training yeah. and stuff like that. Don't but, need mum to hold your hand, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Exactly. She can still come. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. um, now, this preseason, obviously, up to now, the biggest one of your life, how have you gone away and changed what you're doing with how you're you know, preparing, your diet, routine, training, everything you do to prepare for what is the biggest year of footy for you. Yeah, so obviously I like to get my, um, getting your body right is the most important thing. It's going to be a long season. Um, SNC coaches here are great. Shout out to Bryce. Um, <laughs> Bryce. Bryce <laughs> Yeah, um, obviously it's going to be a big season um, because it kind of all counts for one thing, which I've dream, dreamt of. So, but no, I'm looking really forward to it. I'm excited for round one tomorrow. So. Now speaking on uh, tomorrow, as time of recording is round one, what is sort of your goals and aspirations you'd set earlier in the year and coming into this 2021 season for yourself? Um, obviously, like most boys, playing consistent footy in the Colts. Um, but our team's looking really strong through the preseason, so um, it's exciting going to round one. And obviously, it's been waiting for a long time with COVID and stuff last yeah. year. But no, just looking to play some good consistent footy tomorrow, and um, you know, just get the win, obviously. Beautiful. But, okay, and naturally, yeah. you know, round one tomorrow, we've said it. First game. There's a few games being played right now. Yeah. Big first game, how are you feeling coming into it? Nervous, excited. Obviously nerves are there, Yeah. Um, but definitely more excitement, um, being ha been hanging out to play round one of Coles. And now you can go in and say you've won a game of Pig. Who are you yeah, boys yeah. playing again? Playing uh, South, South Rio, so Ooh, no boy. one there yeah. has won a game of Pig. No. So you'll be the only one there, so it be big for you. Mate, yeah. yes. right. Awesome, definitely big. Well, it's been great having you, Lockie. We've loved having you, it's been great. Obviously it wasn't maybe the game of Pig we would have liked. <laughs> no. Um, it was a long one, especially for some people here who spent a long right. time in the shed but it, it was a pleasure to have you. Thanks, we uh, look forward to seeing what Good you do tomorrow for the rest of the year. And obviously, if you need a couple of emergencies to jump in, we're here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right.